the end of our last little clip, um, we've put in the sound effects that we want. There's a dog pant, there's a, a voiceover, it says, come on, Rover, and then there's a scream and an impact noises, and that's what we have right here at the end of our um, Leica. So I'll just play that. Uh, I'll go back to the beginning, and I'll point along these layers with what uh, audio tracks we're on. Okay, so starting here, well, the first thing we hear is the dog pant. So start, there's the dog pant. Come on, Rover! Come on, Rover. Ah! And then the scream. <laughs> So that last uh, little bit of voice talent there, uh, you can see the uh, sound wave here, and it just gets clipped at the end. So a good way to deal with that is to fade it off before that happens, or cut. You could cut it, but uh, a fade, let's try doing a fade, and I'll show you what that looks like. So uh, we have this layer highlighted. And then we go to properties and then we'll click on uh, got to make sure that we have like the this actual sound wave uh, chosen right so we go to properties and you see it's got the scream and impact and it gives you different things to do here and here is one called fade out uh, we can press this and look there's our sound wave, a close-up of our sound wave. And these are the frames that are up here. So you, you can change this from uh, seconds, and those are seconds. And maybe you should be able to go back to frames. Come on, I want to go back to frames. Well, there's the frames there, sorry. So that's seconds and frames. But since our timeline line is in frames, that's the best point of reference. So this actually shows how far that actual clip goes. Like it actually goes beyond where our picture goes. If we extended our picture or this, uh, this level, we could get all that sound effect in. But I think this is a good place to end it. So at frame 155, let's scroll over here. I think we, yeah, let's go to, we can't move that, but let's try, uh, let's try fading it from 155 to 165. So, this bit of business, relates to the timeline, so you want to start there. You notice it puts a nod, nodule. Uh, on this is stereo, so it's left and right channels, and then where do we end? We end at 165, so we can just pull it right down there like that. You have to do it on a on the other channel also. We can pull this back like this and have a longer fade out. So let's uh, say okay. And let's find out what that sounds like. Sounds like. Dog pant. Come on, Come Rover. On, Rover. Yeah. yeah. So there's a nice little fade out at the end, rather than it being clipped like the first time we heard it. So that's a quick lesson on how to use that fade out and how to use those nods, nodules to uh, balance your sounds. So you can do fade outs. Let's see what else we can do in there in the effects. So you can fade left to right. So if, a, if somebody was walking from the left hand screen to the right hand screen, you might want a, an effect that goes out. If, a, if there's a car racing by or a plane going by and you have a, a sound effect that goes left to right, you can pan it from one side to another. Uh, and this is your edit envelope. So that's how you actually affect that sound wave. If you want to like uh, copy uh, and paste it, if your timeline goes on and on and on, uh, you can repeat it if you want. And there's 
the number of times you can repeat it or loop it. The other thing you can do is you can highlight these uh, the entire sound effect. I don't know if that's going to move it. Something like that. And then you go up to here and go to timeline and just like picture you can like cut and copy frames. So when you copy these frames you can copy all that and then paste it along uh, further down the line on the timeline. If you happen to have another dog that you want to say come on Rover to. Never know. Could happen. So let's play it once more. Dog pant. Come on, come on Rover. Rover. Yeah! There you have it.